Good afternoon. My name is Steve McKinn, Director of the Cooperative Tree Improvement Program at NC State. And we are here in, at the Arrowhead Breeding Center run by NC State and the Georgia Forestry Commission near Cochran, Georgia. And I want to talk to you today about top grafting. It's a technique we've been using for a number of years to stimulate flowering for our Loblolly Pine Breeding Program. And I'm going to start with this tree right here. And what we do is we take cuttings, scions, off of select trees like this, healthy, vigorous scion. It's already been dipped in wax. You can see the paraffin melted at about 190 degrees Fahrenheit, dipped in there very quickly to seal it up and prevent desiccation. And that's the key throughout the grafting operation, prevent desiccation. Here's a wonderful dominant uh, side branch on this tree. We're about 45 or 50 feet in the air. And I'm going to do the grafting right here. And you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm pruning around it to make sure that the graft stays dominant. And I'm going to do some pruning now and we'll do some pruning later. But get it dominant and then come up here and start stripping off the needles and get that out of your way. Clip off the top, and then I'm going to put my clippers down because I'm about done with them. And what I'm going to do now is take my grafting knife, very sharp, uh, surgically sharp, sharp, in fact, shaving sharp. And you'll see what I'm doing is I'm cutting right down to the middle of the root stock, or actually interstock as we call it. Put on a clothes pin to keep it shut. Why? To prevent desiccation. Then I take my scion that I've already described again, a lovely uh, piece of scion off of this selection that we uh, are going to be breeding on in a year or two. Take my knife and what I do is I start right under the bud, just uh, a half inch close to the bud, come in and shave down to about a two or three inch length. And you notice I didn't gouge in. I came in very uh, nice and even and shallow, come parallel on the opposite side, the same type of cut. I'm going to go down about two inches. Put my grafting knife in my sheath so I don't cut myself. And you can see there, I got about a two inch cut. Pretty good. Pointed down, tapered to a nice sharp point. Take the clothespin off, put it into the inner stock and I'm making sure to match up one side of the cambium on the inner stock and on the scion. Put the clothespin back on to hold it and then I'm going to get my grafting rubbers out here and normally I have to use at least two rubbers and sometimes even three because I do tend to make a long cut. Start right at the base of the cut to make sure you get it sealed. What I'm doing is I'm turning this, but I'm releasing the pressure. I'm not just doing this real quick. I'm actually putting it and releasing the pressure, pulling it, release pressure, so that it doesn't twist. Because that can cause a real problem and can, can actually girdle the tree. I can tell already I'm probably going to need to put on three grafting rubbers on this top graft. Get up towards the top, get your clothespin out of the way, clip it on my shirt. So I'll know where it is on the next for the next graft. Continue wrapping it. You get up close to the top, and that's not enough rubber to finish it off, so I'm going to get a third rubber. Just overlap it. And right there at the top, you'll see, what I'm going to do is I'm really going to try to cover that top with the grafting rubber. I think that just helps to sort of seal it and keep the desiccation to a minimum pull the rubber out, take the end, wrap it around, put it under there, and it's done. At least the grafting rubber. The next important step is taking the parafilm, which has been cut about three or four inches long, and you can see it's a stretchable thermoplastic. Looks like wax paper, but it, it stretches. And it really does a nice job of sealing. And we, we start again below the, where the cut was, Pull it good and tight so that we seal it. Cover up that graft union, the rubber, and especially up at the top. I like to wrap it around at least two or three times. And you see how it's stretching? And it's fairly warm here this afternoon. 
and it stretches pretty nicely and that covers it up very very well now for arguably the most important step I need to know what this graft is and I'm not going to remember 12 months or two years from now when I'm trying to breed on it and so I put a tag on there uh, put the wire as loose as possible around there make sure it's got a big opening but two or three twists at the end uh, underneath the foliage so that it doesn't blow off in a stiff wind and there will be plenty of stiff winds and you can see there's that and then a nice piece of flagging and we have each of the selections that we're top grafting here with flagging this one we're using pink and put it on again below the foliage so it doesn't blow off and there it is pretty much a done deal you can see the ones in the background we did earlier a few minutes ago this one over here is a top graft that was actually done last year and you can see in the background some that were done over the past couple of years again uh, this is a technique that we use regularly in our breeding program stimulates flowering this should be a successful graft and it should have female strobili on it next year and we should be able to breed on it again here it is about the 22nd of February and we're in central Georgia and it will work very, very well. Thanks and good breeding.